This tutorial will walk you through how to patch or actually to stitch the nadir into your equirectangular panorama using PT GUI. I think it's version 7.0 and higher that has what is called the uh, viewpoint option, which is this column here, and that is in the pro version. I have already gone through and created control points for the first four images, uh, but then the fifth one here is my nadir shot, which was taken uh, by reverse mounting the camera on the Pinnacle VR bracket. Uh, as you can see, it's been roughed up. It gets a lot of use. Uh, shameless plug there since I make that bracket. Anyways, uh, now what I'm going to do is plot control points for each of these four images against this nadir shot. And I've already determined that this little white speck here is the same as that white speck there, which helps me then to identify the control points. So what I'll do is, I'll do four for each of the four images. So for instance, I know that this point here correlates to this point here. And you always want to choose flat control points. So I don't want to choose something on this raised edge here. I want to choose things that are down here where the, uh, the terrain is flat. Uh, so then following that example, I can see that over here, this corner corresponds to that corner. And I'll work my way across. And it's really nice having features like this spot here and that spot there to help you uh, match things up. Uh, so I know that this corner of this brick and PT GUI will attempt to guess, and sometimes it's pretty good, but usually on these uh, I haven't found it to be all that accurate, but uh, generally speaking, when you're trying to stitch a nadir shot, it's because there's enough detail that will make it uh, worth your while doing. It also makes it easier to find your control points. So I'm going to take this corner of this brick, which, oops, this corner, here we go, which corresponds to that corner there. So now I have four control points. I'm going to save this, move on to my next one. And since I already have this generally in place, I know that over here, this little blob matches that one. So once you get your feel for where you are, it's fairly straightforward to continue working your way around. And now I'm going to move this down and this point here matches this point here. And I'll work my way over some more and I can see that this point here corresponds with that one over there. The first few times when you do this uh, you get muscle cramps in your brain until your brain starts to work its way around the picture in a way that makes sense. So uh, but once you have a, a routine to it, it makes it easier to follow it through. So for instance, this brick here corresponds to that one. And I just keep continue uh, to plot control points. So that matches this point here. And I'll work my way over. So now we're going this way. And so I can see that this point here matches this point here and move over to find something else that is easy to spot and I can see that this little white fleck here matches this one here and I'll pick one more for this pairing and I can see that this spot here matches that spot there. And I move on to the last pair of images. I'll save what I have so far. And once again, I can see that. Uh, let's see, this this little piece of straw. This piece of straw corresponds to... Doo -doo -doo. Nope, too far. See, even the best of us get lost sometimes. Okay, these bricks here. Okay, now I see where I am. 
So this spot here, on this corner, I'll choose that spot right there. Corresponds to this one here. It's nice having little blobs of things that uh, stick out and give you an anchor as to where you are. And so this matches that one. And I'll move my way over some more. And I can see that this corner of that should match. Oh, very good. PT GUI did a pretty accurate job on that one. And I'll do one last control point, And we'll say that this corner here corresponds to that one there. See, P2 really got very good at that. Now we go to the Optimizer tab, and I'm going to, as you can see beforehand, I had all these checked, but I left out control points for image 4, so I'm going to turn that on, and then I'm going to click on the viewpoint for image 4, go to PT GUI for the Optimizer, and I run it. And it came out very good, about five and a half. I was going to show off something that I had uh, learned earlier. Uh, if you go into, if hold, hit Control E, it brings up the viewpoint editor. And typically what I've found is manually positioning the nadir close to where you want it to be makes a tremendous difference in uh, the um, optimizing. Now, there have been times when I'll optimize and I'll be off by hundreds of points. I'll go in here, dr manually drag it to, to the approximate position redo the optimization without changing anything else and I'm within four or five points. So we'll save this, go to the preview button, let's do a small preview 2000 by 1000. We'll let that run through and this will give us an idea of how well it came out. Maximize it, let's look straight down zoom out a little bit. Can't ask for much better than that. Now you'll notice that the tripod is showing up here and uh, that's me. I am I used to be a slave to fashion but I escaped. So this is ready to stitch. What I would suggest doing is opening up the image with your nadir shot in Photoshop and masking out all of the areas that you don't want to have included uh, I don't even go into the image parameters as PT GUI suggests and change the uh, the priority down from 100. I leave it at 100 and just mask out all the areas in Photoshop. Again, it's a one or two minute process to do that. Stitch it and uh, I have minimal editing, if any, to do in Photoshop afterwards. Alright, I hope that was helpful and uh, happy shooting.